The 4-H program is gearing up for a barbecue fundraiser, and here with the details is Logan Perry and Whitney Show. Thank you so much for joining us. And, of course, you guys were the king and queen of last year, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So what does that actually mean, the king and queen? Is it of the 4-H program? or? Well, it's actually of the barbecue fundraiser. You see, each year we have a barbecue fundraiser, and whoever sells the most tickets, uh -huh. They crown them king if they're male or queen if they're female. Wow. Okay, got it. I got it. So the next barbecue fundraiser, when is it going to be? April 20th. Mm -hmm. And where? At St. John's Lutheran Church on Major Drive. So basically people just need to come out, but you're going to sell tickets beforehand yes, as well. Can people just come out and get plates as well, or is it just no, just based they on They have to buy the tickets And for more information. Able. They can mm -hmm. just get in touch with the AgriLife office, yes. correct, if they want to do yes, that. Yes, All right. So I understand that you guys just came from the fair. So you guys have been having fun living the life. But you guys were actually showing animals for the 4-H program. What are the animals that you showed, and how did you guys do? Well, we have chickens and heifers. Our chickens we showed Friday. My sister got 13th in the auction, and I didn't place. Uh -huh. And our heifers, we're showing them this Friday. Okay. So... So come out and support, right? Mm -hmm. And you got third place, correct? I got Whitney? third with my chicken and 13th with my turkey, but my pig didn't do anything. Okay, well that's all right. You guys put in the hard work, right? Yes, And that's what's most important. All right, so as far as the king and the queen go, is, is there any duties that you guys have as king and queen throughout the year, or is it just like, I sold the barbecue tickets and now I'm king? That's pretty much it. <laughs> Talk to Bragging me. rights. Okay, all right. Starting with you, Logan, talk to me a little bit about the 4-H program and what it's done for you. What are some of the lessons that you've learned? Well, it's helped teach me responsibility through the cattle project and through the food project. It's helped me learn what foods are good for you. And then the clothing and textiles project has helped me learn what to keep in my wardrobe, and there's many more that have helped me. Absolutely. Now, you said that you've learned some of the foods that are good for you. Talk mm -hmm. to me about some of the foods that are good for you. Well, <laughs> let's see. Okay, well, while you think about that, Whitney's going to tell us about what you've learned in the 4-H program and what it means to you and why other parents may get their kids involved. I've learned that community service is big for 4-H because it helps you get into college mm -hmm. and because you need a lot of community service. And food and nutrition has helped why all the safety, mm -hmm. the animals has helped me know how to care for animals. And have you guys made a lot of friends as well? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's go back to the barbecue fundraiser really quick. Okay, so it's going to be, what's the date and times and place? April 20th at 11.30 to 1 mm -hmm. and at St. John's Lutheran Church on Major Drive. All right, Logan. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us and you as well, Whitney. And congratulations on your wins. And I know you'll do better next year. Yes. All right, we're going to toss it over to Dana for a final check of the weather.